Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up Sublime Text on your Mac so you can program in the C programming language on the create applications. So to do it, it's pretty simple to be fair. So first of all, we'll need this, but we'll skip over this for now. We'll need to download Sublime Text. So if you just Google it or follow the link in the description and just download the latest version this this obviously is very small and the latest version for me is sublime text 4 build 4107 if there's a newer build or even a newer sublime text like, you know sublime text 5 for example or 6 sublime text 4 is pretty new to be fair and then you know just download that one open up the zip file and you can also alternatively open it by double clicking it and then just drag and drop this into applications. I'm not gonna do this because I've already got it there, but then you wouldn't have this, you know, pop up because you won't have it. And then once it's actually in the applications, you can launch it up. So if we launch it up, I've got it here already, or you can just launch it up fresh. And what we'll do is we'll create a folder on the desktop right click new folder and we're going to call this test application and we'll be putting our code in here so if we open up sublime text again open up this website that i'll provide a link in the description let's grab this generic hello world code and we can close that down paste it in press command s and to save it or control s if you're on windows or linux and then go to your test application folder, name this, let me zoom in so you can actually see, name this main.c, click save. Doesn't have to be named main, does have to be .c though. It can be named something else, but as it's the main entry point of your application, it's, you know, it's pretty fitting that it's called main.c. Okay, so to actually build this, what you wanna do is go to tools, Go to build system, select C single file. And now let's go to build with, not build, because build builds it, but it doesn't actually run it as well. So you can either press this or command shift B or control shift B if you're on Windows or Linux. So if we click that, this pops up and then just do C single file run and then he runs it down here okay that's fantastic that's pretty much it I just want to show you one little extra step in case you are using features that were introduced in stuff like a newer C standard like C17 which is also sometimes known as C18 which is the current latest standard, even as of 2021, the current latest released standard. Okay, so to configure this, you wanna copy this, I'll put this in the description so you can just copy it. This basically just sets it up for the GCC compiler with C17. Okay, so you can replace this number with a newer number if there's a new standard that comes out or just ask me and i'll try and do a tutorial on it so copy all of that and you want to go to tools build system new build system and just get rid of what's there paste this here press command s or control s if you're on windows you want to save it where it by default points you to which is in this user folder i'm going to rename this c17 it needs to say dot sublime dash build at the end and when i click save you ask about overwriting because i've already done it before but i'll overwrite it that's fine and now i can get rid of this if i go to the main dot c again go to tools build system and select c17 go back to tools again build with select c17 run and there you go it is now running so that's it it's that simple to set up sublime text to allow you to compile and run c based applications if you have any questions feel free to join the sonar systems discord group there's plenty of programming channels on there and over three and a half thousand members with roughly two to three hundred members always online at any given time 
Look forward to see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.